Friday night under the lights at Gill Stadium. It's not just the coaches and the crowds keeping a close eye on the field. Athletic trainers with the Safe Sports Network watch these young student athletes from the sidelines, moving in at the first sign of injury. Left side, set. They keep our players safe, and then when you know there's injuries that do happen, they get them back on the field as fast as humanly possible. Central High School football coach Ryan Ray recalls being taped up by trainers from the Safe Sports Network when he played high school football. He believes the network is more important than ever now that safety is playing a greater role in sports. With the new emphasis on CTE and concussions and even the heat injuries, I think we're all probably better coaches, you know, and as long as we have people like Safe Sports around 24-7 to remind us, monitor us, and help us move into the future, you know, we'll always be in a good place. I didn't really take it seriously. Nicholas Godboys is a junior at Central. He tore ligaments in his knee when his cleat got stuck in the ground a year ago. Do your parents worry? Um, yeah, they do, definitely. What do they worry about? They just want me to be well, healthy, want me to walk. On this particular day of preseason practice, the heat and humidity are high. The hotter it is out with the humidity and overall temperature, the easier it is to get heat on us, like heat stroke. And, uh, you know, we, we want to make sure we avoid that. Dave Martin is an athletic trainer with the network at Central High. In addition to patching up students, he also teaches the kids what to do if another student is hurt on the field. So he just collapses all of a sudden. Uh-oh. What's the first step? Anyone. If someone collapses, we don't really know what that cause is. Might be cardiac arrest, might be some other emergency, but we teach the kids to respond to it. Safe Sports Network has treated more than 10,000 sports related injuries and has given over 7,500 physicals to kids in the greater Manchester area and it's free. Dr. Nick Valius realized there was a need 20 years ago. He played football at Central High School in Manchester and went on to coach as well. I saw a handful of students watching football practice outside the fence. And I said to these guys, they all look like great athletes, and I said, why aren't you guys participating? They go, we can't afford the physical. You what? <laughs> We can't afford a physical. Nick decided to change that. He reached out to a group of doctors who offered their services. That group of kids ended up playing football, and that was just the beginning. A few of these guys all stepped up, and we provided a bunch of physicals free of charge to the athletes, got them playing. Um, and then from then on, we started offering annual physicals. It's a no-brainer. How come you get up every day and go to work? You're making a difference, and it feels good. Amy Hollingworth, the director of Safe Sports Network, offers all student athletes comprehensive tests that can be used if a student is suspected of suffering a concussion. First, there is a baseline computer test. This is asking you to push one button if you see red um, circle and a different button if you see a uh, blue square and it's telling you to respond as quick as you can. So it's testing your concentration, but also your reaction time. Amy also tests cognitive function. So you say December, November, and go from there. Go ahead when you're ready. Balance and vision. To be there for exactly that moment when the kid goes down on the field and they're at their most vulnerable. What am I going to do? You know, what does this mean? How long am I going to be hurt for? When am I going to get back? You're there for that moment. You don't, you don't ever want to not be there. English Bailey is on Central High's soccer team. After undergoing several knee surgeries, her experience with the network changed the direction of her future. So I had a lot of problems with my knee during that season, so I was in and out of safe sports pretty much every day. It inspired me to want to become a physical therapist or something around that field. Supported entirely by donations from the community, Safe Sports Network offers care free of charge, giving every young athlete a chance to compete even if they can't afford it.
people uh, oftentimes don't have the means to, to pay for physicals. You have multiple children. Uh, it is a barrier to participation. So uh, the, the need for what we do is a great idea over 30 years ago. It's a better idea today. Yeah.